Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another tips and tricks video and this time I'll be doing Hartford Base and uh, before I get right into it I'm going to shout out the people who suggested this map in the last tips and tricks video. Alright now just to start off I'm going to show you how to a little cheeky peak spot. All you have to do is come to the piano lounge and count one two three and then you'll punch the third one right here and then you'll leave this little crack as you can see. You'd only do one I did two. Uh, you'd only do one hit it once and you can see it leaves this little hole and it won't look so noticeable because your body will be there so it would be like black and so it would be dark and it wouldn't really be able to see anything and it's just an easy way to get a spawn kill or anybody holding this front spot alright let's get into the next one alright just say the objective is in the basement a good way to watch the ladder room that's a little different is you actually have to destroy this hatch and the one above there and you would actually sit up top there and you can watch anybody coming across these blue barrels like this and they're not really going to expect you being on that floor if anything they'll expect you here but usually they'll have a teammate breach this and if they do fall then it'll be even easier for you to uh, get the kill but again and if if so let me just cut real quick anyway like I was saying if so they do plant the bomb and you're the only one left you can easily just run down and just quickly get into the hill another really good spot is actually behind these little boxes right here and you can see the stairs just a little bit, but it's enough to get an edge on your opponent. So just say right here, if someone's coming down, you can either jump and kill him, or you can actually try to shoot through this and kill him. Because this is, as you can see, the bullets do go right through. Or you could just, again, just peek really fast up into pre-fire. Like that. Alright, anyway, on to the next one. Alright, another really cool uh, thing I found for you guys is, uh, if someone is camping right in that corner and you have no drones left or you don't even know if they are camping in that corner and you just want to check it so you don't die all you have to do is lay prone again make sure that you cannot die from this like if it's like barricaded or you have your teammate in there you can just check right here by this little corner and if they are there you can either try to shoot them through that little hole or just pre-fire the hell out of them all right let's go on to the next one all right a really good kill uh spawn kill spot a lot of people might know this but just throw it in there because why not you just want to vault on top of this like this and break the top left and then just peek and then back up a little bit and you can get a nice little cheeky kill. Or you can check the roof if there's a glass up there. But you can't go too far because obviously you will fall off. Alright, let's get on to the next one. The same thing applies for this room, but this is definitely way more common than the other one. You can just jump on these things right here. I wouldn't suggest doing this, but just in case if you want to do it, if you're like playing casual, because casual could suck. You could just do this and it's fairly easy to get a spawn kill. Here, one of my favorite kill holes actually on this map is you would actually sit in this room. I would uh, suggest an ACOG. You would sit in this room and uh, you would make a little hole just like this. And you can actually watch the door from this room by the kill hole. So as you can see, you look through this kill hole, through this door, to watch this door. Again, it's one of my favorites on the map. But I suggest an ACOG site because if not, then uh, it's going to be a little hard. But it's still manageable. Here's a little uh, tactic, I, pro tactic I have for you guys to check this hallway, and uh, it's actually really useful. So you would sit behind here, but you want to make sure you have an like that, just like that. So you would use this. So you would lay prone, and then you would tap B, and then hold it again, and just keep doing this. And you can constantly keep checking without exposing yourself to this little gap right here. And make sure you hold it, because if you don't, just say I don't hold it. Cause you're supposed to hold it right now. So just say you hold it, you go down. So just say if you don't hold it, you accidentally tap again, you'll stand up and expose yourself. And that's not what you want to do. So you want to hold, tap, hold, tap, hold. And you keep doing this just to check. And as soon as you see somebody, you can come up and kill them. All right, let's go on to the next one. I would just like to make this known that this actually, this little door, metal, whatever do you want to call this thing. It's actually not bulletproof, as you can see. It's not bulletproof at all. So just, just thought I'd like to add that in there. Another little tip I have for you guys: if this, if the objective is in this room right here, and this is uh, broken, you can get up on these crates and use them as a head glitch. You see right here. So again, just get up, and you can use this whole thing as a head glitch. And you also can do it. But this one over here, but this is not as useful because uh, there's really nothing to watch unless you're getting inside that door 
All right, just say the bomb is in here, and you know that someone's always going to be camping in this corner. Or if, just say you don't know, and you want to check it. All you have to do is come up to the stairs, get your breach charge, right under this window. Blow it up. And you can check the corner. And again, you can do the same thing for the other side. And you can check. And it's just an easy way to check the corners if this is reinforced and you don't have a thermite or whatever the case might be. All right, you can do the same thing in this room. Just say if anyone's in this corner or in that corner, you can actually just come up to this next floor right here and then you get your breach charge. And then for the corner, I believe it's right here. So you can just easily clear that out. Or you don't you don't even have to peek them, you can just do it so they feel like they have to move. So you can just put a breach charge there and see if you see them moving and then you can kill them on the move. And last, you can also do the same thing again for the piano lounge to check this corner. For this one, you would just come up to the second floor again, get your breach charge or whatever you have. So it's a I guess right in front of the tub all the way to the wall. Shoot it out, breach it out, and there you go. Alright, thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching this video. I really hope you did enjoy it. And if you want to be shouted out in the next video, all you have to do is comment down below what map you would like to see next. And again, make sure you hit the subscribe button and go follow me on Twitch, Crixon TV. And make sure you follow me on Twitter, just Crixon. Don't forget to check out my other videos on tips and tricks or Valkyrie Camp spots to learn some cool new tips and again make sure you hit this video with a like and for whatever reason if you did not like this video make sure you still hit it with a like because uh why not